I had a studio in Tribeca, which was very small. And I decided because of the way I paint and I like to move around a lot, I needed more studio space. So I ended up finding a nice space in, in Nyack, which uh, interestingly enough is uh, Edward Hopper's home, the, the famous realist painter. And now my studio is in Edward Hopper's bedroom, which is really quite ironic because all my life I've heard that I have uh, my work is a little reminiscent of Hopper's. One parallel I have with Hopper is that uh, I'm an illustrator and he was also an illustrator up until the time he was in his 40s. I think where the comparison comes from is the fact that um, Edward Hopper loved to draw architecture and paint architecture and in structures and he, he always had people in his paintings people that weren't necessarily relating to each other. There is a, a sense of moodiness and of maybe loneliness and alienation in, in my work because I do think that, that New York can be a very lonely place. And I think that feeling is even more exaggerated in New York than in uh, less intense cities because we're so surrounded by people, but they're all strangers and, and our guard is always up. It kind of has to be. So there is this feeling that everyone's kind of together, but very much alone and in their own space. And I find it really, really kind of interesting that I, my studio ended up in his bedroom. It's, uh, it's really, um, it's kind of bizarre. Well, this is where I store some of my artwork, a lot of it, um, in the Hopper House attic, which is where we're at right now. And uh, you can see I've got quite a bit of it. And thank God there's storage here because there's plenty more where this came from.